She's a pretty brown thing, got them curls that came, and everybody knows when they see me it's take glow. She's got beauty and brain, a glow that shines through rain. She's take glow. What's up, take glow gang? Today I'm just gonna be teaching you guys about time management, business management, anything like that, because for those who don't know, I am a college student and I currently have two jobs and I'm also launching a lash business. So while doing all that, you gotta learn how to manage your priorities, what comes first, how to brand yourself, all types of things. So first, I'm just gonna be giving you guys the list of essentials that you need for the last business that I will be starting. I will be doing shipping, therefore it's not just local. I will be doing it all over the United States so anyone can buy from me. And the website I will be using is Shopify. I haven't used it yet because I'm just starting. So based on the videos that I've seen, Shopify, you can handle everything through there. Uh, your payments, managing your orders and your shipping labels, anything like that, you can do that on Shopify. So first I say you need shipping label paper so that you can put the shipping label on the box you know, shipple, why is it so hard to say? Shipping label paper, a printer, you're gonna wanna have business cards so that if you send out an order, they can give that card to someone else or they can always reference back to your pages, where to find your website, all this stuff. Even though they already bought from you, you always wanna give them your business card so that if they wanna come back or see your branding, they can. And also a thank you card just to make the customer feel like it's personal you just want to thank them for shopping with you treat them like a friend and not just a customer you just want to thank them um a shipping scale because when you do shipping they ask for how much well the weight of the item just to see what kind of shipping it qualifies for and how much the shipping will cost um bubble mailers this is just me personally i chose blue bubble mailers because my brand is blue my favorite color is blue, so I chose my brand company to be blue. So you just want bubble millers. They don't have to be cute, but I chose blue just so they can go along with my brand. Um, You don't need organza bags, but for me, I have lashes, so I'm just going to stick the lashes in organza bags just to add a flair because I don't have the fanciest boxes. Like I chose very cheap boxes because if you get expensive boxes, that comes out of your profit. Why get expensive boxes if people are just going to throw them away? But don't get just plain boxes. Make them you. You can get cheap boxes in bulk size on AliExpress. And I'm going to put that link. I'm going to tell you where I get my boxes. What I did was to make my boxes customized to me is go on Avery Labels and put my brand logo and things like that. So basically, uh, another thing is I put Avery Labels. That's just so you can print out your label. Like, they have different sizes. You can put it like this. So if you want to put the name of your lash on the box, you can get the smaller ones versus the bigger ones. Um, I have that with a clear black round. It has a picture of my face and my brand name. Um, and I'm putting that on the back of my lash box just to make it me. And I can't show y'all that because it's all in the process. It's in the work still. But just giving y'all my ideas and my thoughts. Get some really cheap boxes, y'all. Do not go all out spending like $500 on boxes and that doesn't come in your profit. Don't do it. Um, you'll need, I got these from my job, but they're just little small notepads. I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but I have these. This is, I have these. This is just, these little things are just going to be basically for me to keep track of what, what I've spent and what I've made. You always want to keep track of your profit, what you're spending versus what you're making, because if you're not making a profit, you're wasting your time and your money. So in your profit, that doesn't just count for the lashes. It counts for the lashes, your last boxes, anything you spend on shipping labels, mailers, anything you spend, you want to keep track of because it's all coming out of what you're making. You want to make sure what you're doing, you are selling for the best prices that helps you in the long run. You don't want, I'm not saying be stingy and, you know, try to cheat your customers out of their money and you're just getting a super profit off of them. I'm not saying that, but what you want, uh, want to do is make sure that you're not spending more than you're making. Don't think just because you spent $300 on 100 lashes and you sell them for $5 each. I'm just give an example. You sell them for $5 each, so you made 500 total and you had a $200 profit, right? But that doesn't account for the boxes you spent 
the labels. You want to charge enough to where you can profit off of it and you're not wasting your time and money. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I would like to say that what I did was, disclaimer, I will be selling 25 millimeter uh, mink lashes, real mink lashes, and I do have some that are 15 millimeter for my natural girls, you know, because I'm a natural girl, so I got some natural lashes in there, but I didn't go ahead and order those. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I ordered 100 lashes for $300 from my vendor, so I didn't go ahead and do that, okay? That's what I'm going to do, so not I ordered. I am going to order. I've already spoken to my vendor. I've already uh, chose out my lashes and everything like that, but what I did first was order 100 lashes from a cheap place on AliExpress, bulk size, and I got some very cheap lashes, okay? I spent $65. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I spent $65 on 100 lashes. They're not real mink lashes, but what I'm going to do is sell them for maybe $2, do like 10 for, uh, buy 10, a lot of buy 10 lashes for $20, just to get me started, just so I can see, are people going to support me? Are people going to buy these lashes? And it also gives me a profit in there, so I won't just be starting off of my money. I will be starting off of profit i also will sell some for one dollar because i got them for much cheaper it's just to start it's just to see like will people support me will people buy my lashes i posted them on my snapchat um just to tell people that i will be selling lashes and i also posted the lashes that i will be getting um and i put the last name last style advertised advertised came out with the launch date you do want to come out with the launch date right right so came out of launch day so people can know when to be expecting my lashes, what they can buy. You know, you always want to keep customers ready and knowing what they're getting. You don't want to just say, hey, I'm starting a lash, vicious, lash business without advertising the actual product that you will be selling. So I chose the lash styles that I want and I advertise those so that people can know, hey, these are the lashes I will be able to expect from her. So I know I'm going to be waiting on her to launch these lashes. You know, you just want to um, advertise what you will be selling. So, after I got everything situated, um, I just want to tell y'all where to find your vendors. Go on Instagram and put hashtag lash vendors in the search box. On tags, like you click the tag box and do lash vendors. Because you want to be able to find a vendor. It's When I tell y'all it's so easy to find a vendor, it's so easy. And also you can go to Alibaba or Alibaba. I don't know what it's called, how to say it, but you can find lash vendors. The problem is finding the lash vendor that's in your budget um, you have to find a lash vendor who's going to send you videos. Once you pick out your styles, you say, hey, can you send me videos of each style so that you can make sure you're talking to a person in real time and this person is actually where the lashes are that you're wanting. Because what if it's just somebody who's using fake pictures? You'll know if it's a real person if they can send you the exact lashes, videos of them, of the lash styles that you chose. And you also want to ask about shipping costs. How long does shipping take? Um, you just want to know when you're getting your items just to be professional and just to know when you can expect this, when you can expect to restock and all of these type of things. So after you have that figured out, your vendor lash styles you're going to sell, promote, 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 and make sure you're getting all the inventory you need. Um, prepare yourself, things like that. So <clears throat> how do I manage beginning all of this, beginning the lash business while in school? and working two jobs so moral of the story is my school always comes first I finish all of my schoolwork at the beginning of the week like I have two online classes so we get them on a sun no they open up on a Monday and they're due on Sunday I finish all of my online homework on that Monday so I can be free for the week usually my in class the classes that I go to on ground usually don't require that much homework but I make sure if I have a due date and they're due during time any downtime I have I'm watching videos, I'm learning, I'm teaching myself something for my business. Um, even if I'm not at work, whether it's work or at school, if I have downtime, I'm doing something that's going to benefit me and my business in the long run. You just have to learn um, how to time manage manage in your priorities. Me personally, school is my priority, getting my degree is my priority. So I finish my homework and do all of that stuff first because I do want to make sure that beyond this, I can be successful. I go to school for psychology, but you know, being an entrepreneur, that's something that can help you with anything because me being an entrepreneur and learning how to um, sell business can help me have my own practice, have my own psychology um, space or something. So you just want to learn things as you're in college. Being an entrepreneur is something that's going to be very beneficial in the long run. Whether you're selling lashes, 
bundles, sunglasses, lip gloss. Learn it and be the best at it. You always want to learn something that's going to put you above your competition. So if you're selling the same product, exact same product, exact same lashes as somebody, they're charging $5, don't be the dummy who goes and charges someone $10. Because who do you think they're going to buy from? Even if you're, uh, you have better boxes, better this or that, they're only buying from you for the lashes, okay? They're not buying from you, oh, she has a cute box, I'm going to buy from her. Of course, that makes your customer feel like you really tried and all this and that, but they're going to go for whoever has the best product. Focus on your product branding and things like that and i promise you will have a successful business because you even if you don't have a lot of supporters even if your family or friends say they're going to do this or that for you if you brand yourself if you promote you are going to reach who you want to reach promote yourself anywhere any social media you have if you go buy business cards go to beauty supply stores and leave your uh business card leave your business card at walmart leave your business card you see people walking hand them your business card you may not have a big social media hand people your business card youtube there's lots of ways to get yourself out there and to promote your business and also something else i mentioned is you do want to come up with a name um you can change your names or whatever your brand name a couple times but eventually you're gonna have to choose a brand name because if you actually start making good money on your business, you have to get an LLC. You have to do everything with your taxes. You have to make sure you do everything legally. You don't want to have an illegal business. So make sure that after you start making a certain amount of money, you get your LLC, you make sure you choose a good name, things like that. Um, starting a business, it all depends on you. If you put in the work, your business will be successful. If you're lazy and you're thinking, oh, Mm, everything's gonna be handed out to me. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. Your business will not be successful. So it's all up to you. And basically, that's all I have for today. Today was just um, letting everyone know I will be having a lash business. And I just wanted to help some of my subscribers and those who aren't subscribed to me with a few tips. And if you want to know any like <clears throat> specific details, if you need help finding a vendor, DM me my, on my Instagram and I will find you a vendor and I can send you pictures. You know, some YouTubers be stingy, but I'm here to help all of y'all be successful. Doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, I'm here to help everybody be successful. So if you have any questions, DM me on my Instagram. I can get you a vendor, um, anything like that for anything you're looking for, just DM me. Um, but that's all I have for today. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll keep y'all tuned in on my business details and launch dates. I will keep y'all tuned into that. But thank y'all.